Drug trafficking is still threatening West African democracies and economies. The evidence is highlighted in the 2014 report of the West Africa Commission on Drugs. The attempts to stem the issue have proved to be ineffective. West, West Africa is particularly vulnerable to transnational criminal activity. Borders are porous, coastlines are under patrol, and institutions are vulnerable to corruption. International drug cartels are using our countries at transshipment points between the production centers in Latin America and Asia and consumer markets in Europe and the United States. West Africa is no longer just a drug traffic hub, but also a producing and consuming region. Therefore, the Commission finds it relevant to call regional political leaders to act together and change laws and policies that have not worked so far. The West African Commission concludes that current drug policies are not working. We must now have the courage to change policies that no longer fit reality. I hope that this report will provoke urgent and frank debate among political leaders and civil society in West Africa about the best way forward. Sharing experience is also seen as a way to tackle the problems of drug trafficking and consumption. Drug policy is an intercontinental issue. And this is very important to stress because we need policies, new policies in consumer countries, in producing countries, in trafficking countries, because as the report says today, everything is mixed today. We are not just trafficking countries anymore. And producing countries are not just producing countries and consuming countries are also producing drugs. The 2014 report concludes with eight recommendations. Among them is to treat drug use as a public health issue with socio-economic causes and consequences rather than as a criminal justice matter.